Shalom Aleichem and Bruchim Habayim. Moshe Nyaro here speaking under the auspices of Kolil, Baruch Ahavat Yisrael, based in, in Southern California, and Shadi Tzion here in Brooklyn, New York. This week we'll be reading Parashat Vayetze. It starts off with Yaakov Avinu leaving his father's home, making a journey all the way to his uncle Lavan, and there he will marry both Rachel and Leah. But on his way, the Torah tells us he makes a stop. He makes a stop. And our sages tell us, on Harabait, on the Temple Mount, and he sleeps there. And there he dreams. His dream of a ladder, its legs firmly planted on earth, but its head is in heaven. Angels are traversing up and down, and God Almighty is all the way on top. He wakes up in terror and he says, this is the house of God and this is the gate to heaven. My friends, if we could for a moment try to understand the difference, at least in a poetic way, between a gate and a home. My friends, a gate you have to go through to reach your final destination. But your home is that final destination. The gate that we go through are the gates of prayer, to pray in the synagogue, the gates of study, the gates of belief, the gates of understanding, the gates of humbleness. All for what purpose? To come home and be complete. We could be great scholars. We could be great teachers. We could have many students. But our primary obligation is to our home, to our children, to our family. The Torah tells us, teach your sons, teach your children well. Our home has to be a replica of the Bet HaMikdash. Just like the Bet HaMikdash is the home of God, our home is not only for us, but the Shekhinah and the Bori Olam rest in our home. We have a table which we eat every Friday night, every Shabbat, if we can, all the time. That table is compared to the Mizbeach. Just like in the temple there was the Mizbeach, such we have in our home. Rather than giving the meat to God, we will eat the meat at our table and God will consider it as we brought a korban. How careful we must be at the table not to desecrate it, for it's a holy place. In our homes, we have something representing the shulchan. That is the chesed we do in our homes. The hell should always be a place of chesed. Achnasat orchim. Taking care of each other. The Torah also has to have a menorah. The menorah symbolizes Torah. We have to have svarim. Not just on the bookcases, but svarim to look at, to study with our children, with our spouses. That's the menorah. Our homes can be completely dedicated to our families through God Almighty. Let us realize the importance of the sanctity of a Jewish house. Even one of our greatest enemies would say, Matovu o Alecha Yaakov, how glorious are your tents, Jacob? Referring not to the bit. Knesset, not to the Bet Midrash, but to our actual home. Let us put a lot of effort, a lot of love into our homes, and they will really be substitutes 
for the Beit HaMikdash till that glorious day comes, which we'll all celebrate the coming of Mashiach all together. Shabbat Shalom.